Good morning, y'all. So today is yeah. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September the 15th. And today I am taking a mental health day. Let me talk to y'all right quick while I'm on my way to the gym. So, y'all, yesterday was such a day for me. Now, I always have people coming in my inbox and stuff like that saying they admire how I make it look easy and how I still do this and still do that. And, you know, having twins, but it's not easy, okay? That's where it comes into play where social media can, you know, social media gets what I put out, you know? I'm not up there all the time saying, oh, I had a bad day today or I'm crying so it's like people don't see that but yesterday I actually went on my stories and I was venting because I don't know what it was yesterday yes it just seemed like any time that I try to do something like um trying to do something that's productive as far as like my channel or whatever just planning stuff I can never do it because it's like the twins are always be on two separate schedules which if they're on two separate schedules y'all it's like i ain't got no time to do jack squat because it's like one will go to sleep one will wake up i'm sorry for all the shaking but i got y'all on my dashboard but one will go to sleep one will wake up one would wake up one will go to sleep and it's like they was crying they was very whiny even you know my two older boys was like what is wrong with y'all like y'all just so whiny today so i was trying to record a video yesterday i did my makeup and everything and then when i finally set the cameras up to record kaylani started crying so then when she started crying she woke khalil up so then after that i just was like mm -mm. and not only that it is like i did want to do like a sit down video you know talking to y'all about how I truly feel since postpartum I honestly feel like that when it comes to postpartum depression I feel like that I'm functioning through it because really I can't have downtime like I can't wake up and be like I don't feel like doing anything today because the twins are not my only two you know and it's like I have little ones depending on me and not only that their dad is not here um every day so even though i'm not a single mother i definitely know how it feels because one prior to i was a single mother before and you know he's not around with, with the, um, the twins dad is not here every day so therefore um I be doing a lot like just by myself <laughs> so it's hard it's hard it's hard and yesterday was one of those days it's like I was trying to eat he was crying so let me sit you beside me thinking that maybe he'll just be quiet because he right there beside me no he still was crying so I just got really really frustrated I don't think tears ever dropped but I definitely my eyes started watering <laughs> so today I am being intentional about doing what I want to do the twins is at home with their dad I just dropped my two older boys off at school and unfortunately well I'm not gonna say unfortunately regardless of how we may feel when it comes to being a mother and we need a break you know it's just certain things that are non-negotiable it's like I have to take my kids to school I have to pick my kids up from school but you know once I do that um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick them up from school and then take them home and then leave okay because I just was like I can't like to I just need this moment today I really need this moment today I just need this moment today so I'm going to take the day off work and I'm sorry for the lighting right now y'all it's just that I'm driving so now the sun is like facing this way instead of facing this way so I look dark but anyway you guys I want to encourage all mothers out there to take a day for their self and I'm not just talking about one day out the year 
you know if it's one day out the month you know just take a day for yourself because honestly it's like it could do a world of a difference i feel like my biggest struggle ever since having the twins is just adjusting to a life where i can't move how i want to now granted i already did have you know two other children but they're not like babies they're about well my six-year-old he's about to be seven next month and then i have a 10 year old and so they're not babies you know what i'm saying so it's like and it's kind of easy to find some you know one of their i'm not gonna say fine because i only have a select few of people that watch them which is like my mom or whoever so it's like it's it's not hard to find a babysitter for them because it's like they're older so people don't mind keeping them because it's like really it's like when it comes to them i don't have to do nothing like they know how to i mean I have to, you know, tend to them, spend time with them. But when it comes down to, like, bathing them and stuff like that, I don't have to do those things because they know how to do it. So, I feel like that is the biggest thing that when it came down to having a twins, that's been such, like, an adjustment for me is that the fact that I just have to do so much. Like, do everything because a baby can't take care of themselves. I have to do everything for them. And... You know, if I want to go to the store, I don't even go to the store. I just wait until their dad come home because I'd be like, listen, mm. like I just be like, I ain't trying to go in the grocery store. So sometimes I do get to the point where I'm like, I'm tired of sitting in this house. I'm just going to suck it up and take the twins out. And it doesn't be, it, it's not too bad when I take them out. It's more so the getting ready process and more so of like getting out, getting them out the car undoing the stroller you know what i'm saying so it's just an adjustment for me and another thing that i want to mention is that um, i'm so sorry that this intro is so long y'all but i wanted to get this out of the way and i'm just talking to y'all while i'm on my way to the gym but another thing that is that i had my first son when i was 17 years old still a baby had my second son when i was 21 years old still a baby at that point i wasn't even literally y'all i got pregnant with my seven year old i mean well he, he basically seven i got pregnant with my seven year old the day you know like they could tell you what day was conceived i got pregnant with him the day that i moved into my very first apartment the day the day so that tells you right there that i never really had any moment where i was like actually like living my adult life away from my parents you know just enjoying life i never had that so once I had my second son and it's like me and his me and his dad separated and you know this sound bad but the fact that me and him separated it kind of gave me room to do a little bit more because it's like it's not a situation to where if I want if like it's not like me and him going to do something together and we got to find a babysitter if I want to go do something oh go with your daddy you know what I'm saying I know somebody out there feel me okay I know it might be somebody out there giving a side out, whatever. I know whoever. If you're not with the person that you had a child with, you understand what I'm saying. It's like, verse, if you with the person, it's, it's different because if y'all want to do something together, y'all have to find a, you know, babysitter. But if it's a situation to where y'all not together, it's like, okay, go with your father. I'm about to go do this. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not saying that that's what I wanted for my life that's not what i wanted for my life at all i would love to be with the person that i had children with but that's just not how life happened and i'm not that person that's gonna stay with somebody for kids so anyway um what was i saying <laughs> oh oh i never really i felt like i never really lived my life y'all i feel like i never really lived my life like i just was like I just never really lived my life so once i got and started into the groove of traveling doing what i wanted i'm grown now you know making a little bit of money you know i it's like i felt like that i was living life you know that i never lived it before of course i still had responsibilities because i still had kids but oh who i thought i just seen something jump out the dead on vent in the street lord i thought it was like a rat or something anyway yeah so having the twins at 20 what was that 27 having the twins at 27 it definitely put a halt 
because I'm like, they was out. Like, oh, you know, now I can't get up and just, well, I can't say I can't get up and go to the gym because I can get up and go to the gym. I can take them to the daycare at the gym. So that's not a problem. It's just the point of having to pack them up and it's like they're babies, you know? So I have to keep telling myself like Yvette, this is not going to last forever. This is not forever. That is really, you guys, that is how I get through everything. Honestly, I keep telling myself this will not be forever. This is not going to last forever. Come on, like adjust, baby. Yeah, adjusted a little bit so i keep telling myself that this is not gonna last forever they're gonna get older and eventually i'm gonna get to the point where i'm gonna miss the baby stage you know but i ain't having no more kids so <laughs> that's just gonna be a you know a memory so i keep telling my I, I, don't get me wrong y'all i love my baby so much i love them so much like they just bring me so much joy waking up seeing their smiles seeing them reach new milestones to where they're able to eat baby food laugh you know just do different things you know they're not even crawling yet so i love seeing them starting to get on their knees trying to crawl i love all of these things don't ever take it you know don't ever think for a second that if i say that i'm just having a moment that i'm like miserable or i wish that this wasn't my life no that's not it it's just that i feel like us you know we're like as mothers we're looked at as superwoman like we're supposed to do it all we're not supposed to get tired we're not supposed to go out we're not supposed to do things for ourselves. and i feel like it's so so important because regardless of if you are a mother or not you were a woman first okay you were a woman first and you know you matter because if you're not good your kids is not good say for instance it's like you are just so irritated and just you know upset it's gonna reflect on how you are parenting your kids i find myself so many times to where i'm irritated and my son keep calling my name and i be like what do you want <laughs> so it, it reflects so it's important to you know just have a moment y'all it's it's important and i am a advocate of taking my moments so today 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 i'm taking my moment so right now I was supposed to have my training session today, but he gonna tell me he had an emergency. It's not an emergency to where somebody hurting, so I'm that's why I'm saying it like that. He had an emergency, so I'm at the gym, and I'm not gonna say I don't want to be at, like I do want to be at the gym. I like going to the gym; it's my outlet. So I'm doing everything today that I want to do, and I don't care. Okay, so I'm at the gym. I'm about to go in the gym and work out. I'm not going to take the camera in there because I don't want to. And yeah, then we're going to, I'm going to come out and we're going to get this day started. So thank you for listening to my TED talk. Okay, y'all. So y'all not going to believe what I did. I literally sat in the car, took my pre-workout and then I had called one of my friends and me and her were just talking and I talked to her for like, let me see how long, hold on, an hour and 10 minutes. So now... I couldn't even go in the gym because me and my friend is going to have lunch at 12 and it's 10 09 so I need to go home get ready and then travel so yeah all right y'all bye okay y'all so I got ready I didn't do too much I just put on this little brown dress that I have okay so I didn't do too much I just put on this little brown dress that I have and this is like a brown I hate that the lighting keep messing up, but eventually it'll get better. But this is like a brown cover, a bathing suit cover up that I just tied up. And I just threw my wig on, my watch, my my Desi glasses. This is my first time wearing them actually, but it needed to be a part of the occasion. As far as my makeup, I didn't do a whole face, y'all. I just did um, my eyebrows. I put some finishing powder on and a little concealer under my eyes and some lip gloss. And that's it. I ain't even glue my wig down, y'all. Because I ain't, I, I ain't feel like it. So, I'm on my way to my friend. We about to have lunch. Yeah. So, I'll see y'all when I get there.
Okay, y'all, so we got finished eating the, um, hold on, where am I going? Anyway, we are, we are about to go to Target, y'all, because for one, I want to go get me some more ashwagandha, okay? How the fuck, why don't I look so dark? Can y'all see me or is it my glasses? I don't know, but I ain't take my mask off yet because we, we literally like two minutes away. And I don't feel like putting it back on because it's kind of difficult with this wig and these uh, sunglasses. <laughs> so, we about to go to Target. The sushi was cool. I'm not like a huge fan of sushi, but it's good. That place is good, but she really wanted it, so I went with her behind. So, let's go to Target. Clearance got. You got what? What a big cup? I ain't got nothing. On the clearance. Oh, that my babies need some on pampers. Stuff I don't want to buy. Yeah. Hair first. Look, it's supposed to be. You know what? You know what? I was about to say this is a mental health day, but you know what? I ain't gonna be like that. I do need some pamphlets. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This I got this last one right here. How did you want this one on switch? Well, I like it. I like this one though. I um, want they. Got this song. Look, do it really quick. I'll make that shit. Oh, no, it's not. Well, you would have this. Oh, yeah, but this one is. Mm -hmm. This one. Right. Got this, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm back in the car now. That bitch left the world. That girl that had me, um. It's hot. It's hot, had me spending money. I'm about to take my goalie ashwagandha gummies, y'all. So, I love these gummies. If you, <laughs> listen, they just relax you so much. I learned about it through Tabitha Brown. She actually did like a IGTV, like promoting it. So, I was like, let me just take it to see how it worked, y'all. These gummies relax you so much. And they have so many benefits. So, I actually have something coming on my Instagram to where I'm going to be doing something like a little promotion towards it. So, make sure you go follow me at All Things Events. Okay. But I'm about to take two now. I convinced my friend to take some. I mean, to get some. I spent 200 and something. $215. Know what? Let me put this receipt in here just in case I gotta take something back. Well, it don't matter. I use my Target app anyway. But okay. Supposed to take two twice a day. Yeah, they make a world of a difference. Okay. Let's go get these carrots. Then drop them on. 
to they stop daddy. Oh, we had another, I hope my wig don't look crazy. If it do, I don't care. We had another store. <laughs> the store is Marshall's. I have to go get the kids in literally like 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly 20 minutes. But I wanna run in here right quick cause they right up the street. So I'm gonna go in here to kill some time. So let's go. Ooh, shaky footage, shaky footage, shaky footage. I think this will look good in our bathroom. How much are these? Need some like extra long ones. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is a candle. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Let me smell it. And it smells so good. How much is it? What price at? Six, sixty dollars, bro. Oh. This makes me happy. Oh, these are cute. These champion. Okay, y'all, so I finally left. Well, I dropped the kids off. I picked them up, dropped the kids off. Of course, I didn't vlog picking them up because, no. But I, I picked the kids up, dropped them off. I actually cooked dinner. Ooh, ooh, I almost went in that dish, boy. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> um, I cooked dinner so they can have something to eat. It's still fairly early. I think it just hit. What time is it? 432 so it's still fairly early i just pretty much prepared it so that all he have to do is put it in the oven um when it's you know when they hungry and when he's hungry so now i'm about to go eat can't wait to get a new car i really be envisioning myself in my car now my car for the longest was a jeep I really wanted a Jeep, which I still do want a Jeep. However, I just feel like the Jeep is more like, like I was talking to my sister about it because she want a Jeep also. And she just was saying like, really with the Jeep, it's like, a, it, it's like, I guess depending on how much you make, it's an expensive car. It's not that expensive, but it is like, it can get expensive once it's like fully lo loaded, like a Jeep Wrangler. And, um, you know, in the inside, I feel like I want the Jeep because of how it looks on the outside. So, yeah. So, I really can't wait until I get a new car, y'all. I be envisioning, like, me getting in my new car, stepping out with the sunroof and everything else. Like, I could be hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> and, pro look, when I get it, I probably won't even use the sunroof because I ain't going to want my hair blowing. I secure my wig too, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but when you like, when you actually like glue your wig down and give it more of like a, a melted type look, so you, like you can't really see the line too much of the the wig. So yeah. I told my friend that the reservation was at 5 o'clock. It's really at 5.15, but I told her 5 o'clock so she can get there on time. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures. 
trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus Mommy? Out Here you go. 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 you can see as soon as I walked in the house, it's back on mommy mode. But to be honest, after a day out, I really love the fact that I can come home to my babies, to my man, and just get that love. It's just, it feels, it's, it's unexplainable unless you're a mother and you understand. Um everyone's mental health day may look different. You may just want to sit in the house, chill, relax, take a bath, whatever it may be to you. My mental health day is, for the most part, I like going out the house, going to stores, looking at clothes, looking at home decor, going to eat, having a couple of drinks. Because if I'm staying at home with the kids, I can't be invisible. So they're still going to talk to me or do something so I like to get out the house but I enjoy my day so much you guys to someone out there I'm pretty sure it may seem like it was a boring day but me just going to eat going to Target going to Marshall's those different things that is just the outlet that I needed I really did and now I feel refreshed and I'm ready to get back into it and any mothers out there that is feeling bad for choosing to have a mental health day or they feel like they're being selfish just know that it is important it is important you are important and if you don't have your mental health right you won't be the mother that you need to be so it is important okay so i hope you all enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe and i will see you all in my next one bye i'm on hiatus Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking time out to be And live my life hey. Taking just don't do And live my life Don't take it personal just building, it's my season, they found it